I'm trying to time this right. Okay, now we're going to move in. Okay, so today is Thursday and that means it is Dreamhangers time. So let's take a look at the first comment here coming from Rytek. So Rytek is saying, Hey Adrian, same request as last time. I'm a returning player and currently building towards a hangar which might work out really well. So we have the Fenrir, Demeter, T-Falcon, Hellburner, Behemoth and also the Minos. And as you can see, we have the Fenrir here with the hammer and mace weapons. I think this build can actually be pretty effective, especially if you have the Patron drone because it's a really good counter to the Angler. Okay, so if you have the Patron, uh, try it out with this build, pretty effective. Uh, we have the Demeter here with Igniters. Uh, this one can kind of be tricky. Sometimes it does really well, uh, sometimes not so well. It depends on uh, pretty much your opponent. If they're running a lot of fast moving bots, I think I would rather use something like uh, Havoc uh, possibly mace uh, instead okay so we have the jerry fortune pilot which i prefer uh, in the current meta for the uh, demeter uh, we also have a t falcon here now this build i don't think it's going to be that effective mostly because you only have one weapon um, i think going for the uh, regular you know falcon with all three weapons would be more effective um, even using something like you know uh, redeemers could be pretty effective on here but if you have like say decay uh, that might be a really good option uh, even smoother okay so just a couple of options uh, for uh, the falcon uh, we have the hellburner with uh, devastate and scatter uh, this is going to get a pilot uh, as well so going to be interesting to see how this actually does uh, with that new pilot when it comes up so i think um, you know this might work it's going to be uh, interesting to see how this works in uh, you know a game uh, we have the behemoth here with bane um i have tried this out a while back it did okay against the skyros but i think in the current meta you know where we're seeing a lot of like avalanche for example which i think might be a better option if you have those weapons uh, with the explosives expert i think that's one uh thing i would uh, actually change with this behemoth but we'll try it out we'll see if it actually works um, we have the Minos here with the Vajra. I think this is the strongest build for the uh, Minos at this point. And those are the modules. But uh, yeah, otherwise that's going to be your hangar. Let's jump into a game and let's see how we do with this lineup. Okay, so game one we have dropped in on Canyon map. And I have started with the Hellburner first. So we're going to get some beacons first here. Um, I think I might drop in with the Falcon afterwards. What are we dealing with? I think this might be... Okay, so we are dealing with an angler. I'm just wondering... Oh, okay, so he's gone in. I'm just looking at his drone. So he has a wasp on here. I am hitting him. I'm trying to break his shield though. That's the thing. He has a frontal shield which I can't break. Let's move this way. Surprised I didn't do any damage to him whatsoever. Okay, his uh, his frontal shield is busted. We might have got some damage in. Okay, so he's down to half health. Problem is he's going to use his ability on me soon. I'm trying to drag him away. So he's used his ability now. I'm trying to time this right. Okay, now we're going to move in. We totally outplayed that angler with the Hellburner, guys. Maybe that's the counter. Okay, let's drop in with the T-Falcon. Oh, this thing is so slow. And the thing is, I only have one weapon. That's why I don't know if I would use this build. I think using, like, three to really maximize that damage in the current meta, I think, is the way to go. We have that, that one player going to the left uh, flank there. I'm trying to put uh, pressure on this beacon here. Maybe I can uh, get rid of these guys. I don't think so, but we're going to try. <laughs> oh, we actually took a player out. Yes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Help, guys. I'm trying to get this beacon. What about the left side? We need the left side covered. This guy's almost dead. We got it. We got it. Um, our teammate on the left side needs help. 
You know what? I think I might try to push the right uh, side here. Oh no, they have a low key. He's going to run beacons on us. I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to get to this beacon. I keep getting like locked. We have two or three campers back there. That's actually good for us. Because if I can get this beacon, we'll have a three cap. The only thing is they have a low key and he's going to be running beacons on us. I need a heal here. Heal! All things considered, I actually expected to die a lot sooner with this, uh, this build. Oh man, I can't move at all. This is painful. I'm gonna die here. Man, and they have, they have a Titan out now too. Just try to do some damage to him. My teammates are helping out. Okay, so we have three beacons. Uh, let me drop in with the Demeter. Uh, I'm going to teleport to this guy. Maybe we can protect him. Oh, we almost got that player. Almost. Let's move this way. I use the heal just in case. There we go. Let's try to push this side. And lead the target. There we go. Try to get this beacon here. Use my shield. All things considered, this is actually doing pretty decent. I'm going to use my heal here just in case. Because they have a Miramits over there. I don't want to get uh, EMP'd. Uh, we have our... There we go. I should be able to kill him. Oh, no. Maybe not. Uh-oh. We have a 5 cap on them. They may, they may want to get some beacons here. They have a Loki, but he's fighting on a beacon that we have covered. This one's going to get killed. Um, let's use the heal. Another shield. <laughs> that should do it. There we go. Nice. Oh, crap. Um, I'm going to move closer to my teammate just to give him a shield and some healing here. I kind of hope this game lasts a little bit longer because we still have our Titan and stuff. Oh. I'm going to teleport to him. Kind of protect him that way. I'm actually really trying to focus down this Luchador. We're doing some nice damage. All things considered. Oh. So a weapon pop. He doesn't look too good. Yes. They're all on the same... The thing is, they're all going to the same beacon. That's, uh, that's the reason why. And this guy is just getting roasted. Completely roasted. I'm going to move in front. You know what? Did he lose connection? He might have lost connection. Did he lose connection? I don't know. He's kind of moving. He is healing up. But... Oh, he has a nebula. That's why. Okay, I don't want to go for any more beacons here because I want this game to kind of last. I still have a couple more bots left. Let's do that. I'm going to teleport to my teammate. Kind of protect him from this Indra. Uh, let's drop in next with... Let's use the Behemoth. Oh man, this uh, Loki is still here. You know what? This Loki is probably keeping... <laughs> keeping their team in the game here. I'm gonna see if I can hit him with this. I'm not sure if I'm close enough though. He's getting... Yep, we got him. We got him. Okay, so... I still have the uh, Fenrir and the Minos. I might have to actually include gameplay of that. 
Let's just move. Wait a minute. Is that another Loki? Wait, is that the same guy? <laughs> I'm getting him to run. You know what? I could drop in with the uh, the Minos. Because that might be another option. So as long as I am the same like level as him, I don't need a quantum radar. Yeah, he's running, he's running. He's gonna go to, he's gonna go to center. <laughs> so I'm just staying at this level so I can fire like above here. And that will allow me to uh, deal with him. Although this game is going to be over. So I'm going to include gameplay of the Minos and also the Fenrir because I didn't get to play that. Uh, but let's see how we did. Quite surprised by the Hellburner. We outplayed the Angler. Maybe that, that might be an option, guys. So uh, yeah, 4.4 million, 2 kills, 5 beacons. There we go. We have a Nightingale moving uh, over to the side here. I'm trying to keep this guy's shield down. I used a heal just in case. There we go. Let's use that. Surprisingly, I haven't run into uh, any anglers because I really wanted to kind of showcase, uh, you know, this bot against the angler. Just trying to heal up here. Trying to kill this Kepri. I'm going to go for the, the Indra. Uh, I don't know if I can get this though. I'm trying to help get the uh, center beacon. We got it. We got it. Oh shoot. I think I charged him up. No. Guys, don't charge up his shield. Yes. Okay, so moving on, let's take a look at the next dream hanger here coming from Ghost. And Ghost is saying, hey Adrian, I have a dream hanger. I would like to see you try. I'm trying to build this hanger and I want to see how it does in Champion League. So we have the Fenrir once again. Uh, the Seraph, the Aojung, Harpy, Rochi, Minos, and also the Northlight. And uh, as you can see, we've got the Fenrir here once again with the Hammer Remes. Uh, this time, I am going to be switching things up, uh, you know, on the modules. We've got Nuclear Amplifier, two Immune Amplifiers, not Repair Amplifiers, although you could use both. I'm going to see how it actually performs with uh, these two instead. Uh, we've got the same pilot skills. Okay, and uh, this works really well with the Patrons. I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, we've got the Seraph with the Punches, uh, the Shield Breaker. So uh, this is another very deadly build. So I think this is going to work. Um, we've got the Aljun with Smooter. I don't think I've actually tried this before, so kind of curious to see how this performs. And then we have the Harpy with the uh, Smooter and Razdor weapons. So I'm noticing a lot of flying uh, robots here. So one comment I'm going to make, because I'm noticing this across the board, uh, you know, let, let's just take a look at the Arati first. So we have the Arati with Devastator and, uh, you know, the following uh, modules. So what I was going to say is, um, I noticed you don't have any tanks uh, other than the Fenrir. You've got uh, three flying robots and an Arati. Uh, you know, having this many flying robots and the Arati is actually going to weaken your hangar. I think you need, um, you know, maybe a Ravana or some kind of tank, uh, possibly even two tanks, uh, in order to really strengthen uh, your hangar. And that's going to boost up your damage as well. So I think uh, that might be something you want to consider. Okay, we've got the same Minos once again with the Vajra weapons, uh, same modules, everything is the same. And that's going to be our hangar for the second game. Let's drop into that game and let's see how we do with this lineup. Okay, so game two we have dropped in on Dead City map. And I have started with the Aojung first. So I've uh, played a few games now with this hangar. And I have actually been struggling because sometimes the enemy gets like my home beacon. And I can't defend against, uh, you know, those attacks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guy's going to kill me. 
Yeah, these weapons aren't good for close range. I was trying to keep my distance, but uh, as I was doing my commentary, you saw I kind of got distracted there and I ended up losing my bot. So in this kind of situation, you see what's happening over here? I can't actually uh, defend against this kind of attack. Okay, so you got to be very careful. But the thing is, if you are backing up all the time, just keep that in mind. So I'm going to lose this part now as well to the scorpion. At least we can try to do some damage to him. Yeah, so I think this lineup, you're going to you're gonna suffer against things like scorpion attacks because you can't keep backing up, is what I'm trying to say. And when that happens, you're going to lose all the bots in your hangar. So do you see how they, they're pushing back into my spawn here? Um, I'm going to end up losing uh, this harpy. I'm trying to see if I can actually... Uh, Let's try to deal with this, uh, the Sirachi. Okay, so we're going to try to kill him here, but we gave up one. We actually gave up technically two beacons. This guy's got another, he's got another scorpion, which he's going to attack me with. And I'm going to end up losing this, I think. Yep. Okay, so that's now two of my bots that I've lost uh, to a scorpion. So just kind of keep that in mind. You know, they're pushing me further and further back into my spawn. I can't defend against it. Um, this is why you want to run your tanks. You want to have uh, like things like Fenrir. Ravana would be um, a very good option because when he teleports, what you can do is use your ability to negate uh, that kind of attack. Um, we still need to get our left uh, side there. And now we are dealing with this guy here. So he's going to end up actually uh, probably killing me. I'm trying to see. Uh, he's uh, he's using... Uh, he's got phase shift on here. I can't kill him. I'm trying to break the frontal shield. He has a frontal shield and now he has his ability and he's doing damage to me. So again, this is why you want your Fenrir's, your Ravana, uh, you know, even something like an invader, believe it or not, can actually be pretty effective against, uh, you know, these kinds of attacks. So I was able to, um, you know, outplay him there with the Orochi, but again, uh, you still want your tanks uh, in this lineup. Uh, this guy's going to go straight for me here. I'm going to see if I can maybe take him out with this Orochi. Let's see. Uh, he's uh, gone into a phase shift here. Yeah, I might be able to hit him actually down to his last stand. Okay, so last stand has been triggered. He might actually end up killing me. The oh, nope. I got him. I'm trying to rotate my shots so that um, at least... Or at least stagger my shots. So that I can get rid of him. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get rid of this guy here. He's almost dead. Okay, let me drop in next. So you see what I'm actually doing is I'm getting rid of all the flying robots um, as soon as possible because if they get uh, to my home spawn and I need to defend, I can't defend uh, using these bots, unfortunately. Okay, let's see if we can maybe uh, do this. Maybe get rid of uh, this guy here if I can. I use Shield Breaker. That is a uh, Mars. Okay, so I'm going to try to actually land behind you so that his turret shoots into the wall. And slow that guy down. I'm going to have to use Shield Breaker on this guy. There we go. Man, I need a heal bad. Okay, we're going to drop the, uh, the North Light. Trying to do as much damage here to this player. We are losing that right. Well, actually, we already lost the right side. We might need to go for another beacon elsewhere. I'm going to drop the north light again just so I can keep on stacking that Aegis. Ooh, this guy's in our spawn. Trying to lock him down. Man, he just smoked that. <laughs> he just smoked that, uh, that Ao Ming. So imagine if I had to drop in with a harpy over there. 
Not that the Fenrir would be any, like, better, but just saying. I'm going to drop the, uh, the heal here for my teammate just to kind of help out. He's going to use his ability. I'm going to try to see if I can maybe kill him. There we go. I have Shield Breaker, which is going to help against this guy. Although, he did use, uh, he did suppress me. I think he's dead. Okay, we got him. Perfect. I need to fly on over to this left side quickly. See if we can maybe get their home beacon. Problem is, this guy's going to kill me here. He's going to go into flight. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Yikes. Let me get this one. Maybe, maybe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I tried to... Uh, I think I, I did get that beacon. The thing is, they killed me. And now they're dropping orbital strikes over here. Uh, let's see if we can try to maybe get this right beacon. This game's pretty close. But hopefully you can kind of see the weakness of this hang and Why I always tell players... Uh, you know, to focus on the tanks, the brawlers, because sitting back, you know, I can, I understand you want to get a lot of damage in, but the thing is, if the enemy gets into your spawn, you're not going to get any damage in because you're going to lose your entire hangar. Really isn't worth it. So in terms of consistent damage, you want to go for those brawlers. This guy, I might actually end up killing him here. Yep, there we go. We need to push another beacon. The problem is they're in our spawn. Can we get the center? I'm just... I'm not gonna shoot this guy because I do want to get this beacon here. This game is extremely close. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that uh, down. My teammate should push that right side. We should go for a 5 cap at this point. Man, this, uh, this Fenrir is doing really well. Although, yeah, this guy's in front of me. You see what I just did to that Harpy? And that's with a tank. I'm trying to see if I can maybe kill this guy. But I am going to get killed here. I did do a heal. If I can knock a weapon off, that would be ideal. He's almost dead. Come on! Oh! I knocked his shield down though. Okay, down to the Minos. Uh, which side? You know what? He's probably going to be pushing the right flank. But the game is going to be over here. Let's try to get rid of him. We're going to go into center and that is going to be game. And there we go. Okay, so that was a really exciting game. Very close. Uh, but hopefully at the start of the game, you can kind of see why I say, um, you know, not to go too many flying robots. Why it's really important to have your brawlers and to really kind of emphasize that, um, at, at least initially to build up, um, you know, your hangar. And then you can kind of diversify later on. But this is how we uh, ended up stacking up. So thank you very much to Ritek and to Ghost for your dream hangers. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay for them. And once again, to everyone else, if you would like a chance to be featured in a future dream hangers video, Make sure to post your dream hangers in the comment section down below. And don't forget guys, if you enjoyed this video, I have more videos like this. You can find it by going to playlist, finding dream hangers. I have over 100 episodes where I cover different themes and I help our players with their hangers just like this video. Make sure to check it out. And with that said, thank you guys for watching and until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.